Hey guys, it's Micah from Micah Doodles. Um, last time that um, I did a lesson, basically showed you guys how to draw um, a Shelby Cobra here. Now this time, what we're gonna do is, um, I've traced this Cobra over, and I'm gonna show you the inking process for how we do this. So here's my reference picture, and so we're gonna get started. I just got a new box of uh, Prismacolor Cool Gray markers right here. Um, love these things, got them on eBay for about 30 bucks. Um, so we're going to basically use these right here and I'm going to start out with grabbing my, uh, uh, 114 and, uh, start hitting these, hitting these darker areas inside here first. There we go. Okay. Go any of my lights. I'm gonna pull from uh, Pantone or P141 is gonna be where I'm gonna grab my lighter colors and also my inked colors as well. Let's see here, my lights. My darker spots. Also on this tire. Um, typically what I do is I outline uh, most of my car black, but for this, um, I'm going to be using a different color. Um, I'll, I'll be doing the 114 for my black tires just so that I can show you some value changes in here. So I'm going to be laying these guys down real quick to show you some value changes as well. So on the outside of my tires, typically um, if I'm going to be doing um, a normal Micah Doodle stuff, I, I have a tendency to shoot all these black first. But for this, um, to show you the change, I'm going to do them in gray. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to pull this up like this. There we go. Get these guys all drawn out like that first. Okay. I'm going to go around and hit some of the spots where um, I want this thing to pop out. Okay, any of my chrome areas, um, I'm going to basically hit with this uh, uh, 48, just to kind of give you an idea what's going on as well in here, same thing in here, on these pipes, here we go, on this, okay, there we go, again over the top of this. So uh, I'm going to put this over like that. Okay. Again, I'm going to start hitting these darker areas in here. Typically, I outline this thing with a Sharpie marker, so I'm going to hit a couple areas that I want to be dark in here as well. So, okay. There we go. I'm going to put my uh, horizon line, my my border on here like this. There we go. Hopefully that helps like that. You guys can see that okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and just um, outline and uh, trace this car. As soon as I get this uh, scoop in here, I made. I'll probably end, go over that with black, but uh, for the sake of what we're doing here, let me show you what's going on here. So I take my sharpie marker. As soon as I got my basic outline of my car, I'm gonna take my sharpie marker and go over the edges of that, defining and tracing it. There we go. And then I'm going to hit some darker areas inside here um, where I know that the fender is going to come over. Things like that. Let me roll this actually down like that. 
pull that down like that. Bring that to that. Okay, there we go. So, again, uh, for the chrome, um, you always do lighter on top, which reflects the sky, um, darker on the bottom, which reflects the ground. And so with this, um, kind of already developed that. Just I, I normally go over and I'll hit some spots on there. Real loose, real light. Um, I've got another color that I can also hit on top as well. So there we go. Okay. I'm right about ready to start this bad boy in here. Pull this in here like this. Okay. Now on this picture here, just looking at my reference picture, grabbing a couple colors off here that I'm going to use. Um, orange for my reflectors. I'm going to put those guys in. Again, um, I'm not going to totally um, color everything in perfectly. I kind of leave a little bit open because what I do is I want to get in there and I, and I want to add some details to that later on. So let me do that. So I'm kind of rough and loose on my sketches here. Okay. All right. So on this, on this gray inside of here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a lighter gray. Um, I'm going to take a uh, PM 109 and I'm going to go on the inside of this tire and I'm going to show you the difference here What I want to do is I want this inside of this tire to look different than the outside Okay It's just going to add to some add to some variety later on uh, then again, I can use my uh, PM 109 um, to create the edge on the side of this um, car. And because it's dark enough, I can also use it uh, to be the darker areas of this um, of this car when I'm doing the headlights, um, putting in the shadows, doing the rims, um, copying what's going on below um, for the um, reflection. So I'm gonna put my shadow on this side of this car. Now, anytime that I'm going into the steering or anytime I'm going into the window, I'm gonna take this same color and I'm just gonna basically, I'm not gonna outline it, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Because what I wanna show in this is I wanna show that um, it's, uh, it's behind the windshield, but I'm not gonna add a, a detail line. When I'm done inking it, I'll show you what I mean. There we go. So you can kind of see this is really faint in the background. Um, but I'm not going to add any detail to that, so it'll really pop when I'm done. Okay, on this, I'm going to go... Okay, reflection on here like that. Okay, I could probably go a little darker with these tires. That's probably what it'll end up doing. Um, we'll go a little darker around there. Um, but for the most part, I think this is pretty good. So now what I want to start doing is I want to start hitting my blue. So I decided to pick um, PM40 on this. And I'm going to just, what I, what I like to do is I like to hit everything in one color first. Uh, then I'll go back and I will um, add, add a little, little bit more and start building things up. solid color this thing in like this now people different people ink different ways um, I'm basically going to ink it this way for the sake of showing you guys what I'm doing here there is a stripe that runs down here so I want to be careful not to outline that there we go. where's this go like this there we go and I have uh, anywhere where there's going to be a line that's going to intersect, like say this light here and there's a light here, I will not go and um, completely touch it because I want to at least show where that line is. Makes sense. Okay, there we go, like that. 
This fender line is here, so I'm going to leave a little bit of a white line there so I won't lose where that, where that marker spot is at. Pull that all the way to there. Drop this guy down. There we go. Now it looks kind of messy, looks kind of muddy, and that's okay because I'm going to go back in later on and I'm going to really start cleaning this thing up. But my first layer that I do in pen is always just kind of my base layer. So it is going to be a little bit darker. And a little bit messy and it doesn't look like it's done very well, but that's okay. And then when I go in there, um, when I'm finished, when I go in there with my uh, white pen and things like that, it's really going to come together and really going to pop. So again, let me finish up with my 114 around my wheel here, stopping at. Now these pens always go on darker and then they lighten up. So um, when you're laying down your color, your first batch of color might look like, whoa, that's really dark. That's okay. Um, these things are meant to be layered. Same thing with this. I'm going to go darker on this, kind of build it up in here as well. go Put that guy in there like that okay I'm gonna kick this guy has a chrome type of rim around it so I'm going to double up my rims like that on there there we go okay Okay, next thing I want to do is start um, tackling in some of the details here. 109, now that's basically it's kind of laid out really rough. I can use uh, my 109 to basically as a shadow to kind of show where some of the car uh, bends and, and uh, um, where some of the actual uh, shadow in the vehicle is, where the fenders roll or things like that. So even when it goes across white. Um, sometimes I use a light gray marker to even when I'm even when I'm doing a white vehicle just to show where those shadows are It really adds a lot of dimension Okay, then I'm gonna take a 116 and I'm going to go over um, 116 I'm gonna go over the the shadow in here, which is gonna make this thing pop out a lot more to Kind of show that that rim is tucked underneath here like that Seems true. I'll pull that guy down like that. There we go. Left it like that. Okay. Stuff's starting. Stuff's starting to come together. Um, I've got my 116 here. My 114. And again there. What I may end up doing here is this. I'm going to take this 114. I'm going to now that you've kind of seen the differentiation or the distinction between the the inside and the outside. I'm going to hit this with my 114. Stop it to here, okay. There we go. Okay, then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna hit now, since you already know where it's at, I'm gonna hit this with my black. This is what I typically would do when I'm inking a car. I'm gonna put all the black where the black goes because the black on, when, you, when you're inking a tire, um, what I do is I really want that black to pop out. Anytime you put a black object, um, it's going to stand out. It's going to really um, distinguish itself from um, everything else in this vehicle. Just like any time that um, a girl would put eyeliner on her eyes, she wants her eyes to you know to stand out. So the same thing when when doing cartooning. Okay, so things are basically coming together now. 
Um, again, I'll probably go over here, tighten this guy up with his lights here, kind of layering things as I, as I go um, as well. Add my blue in here. I forgot to touch this in here. There we go. That rolls up like that. Okay. All right. So now I've basically got, let me ink this in a little bit more, a little bit better. Okay, now I basically got my rough um, line for my uh, Cobra, uh, the body style. Now I'm going to start adding, adding some highlights and some details. Some people use colored pencils when they go over um, this stuff in the car. What I'm going to use is I'm going to take my um, shadows from my uh, grays, and I'm going to use those, and I'm going to apply those to the areas where they need to be. And so um, I'm going to use a 114 for this. So this, I want to pull like this down, and I'm just looking at basically what I've got going on here so that I can apply that. There we go. Okay, this guy's going to roll here. He's going to roll down my fenders like that. Okay. I kind of want to use the contour of the car to give me some definition on what's going on here as well because I know that my highlights are going to hit up top of here, up top of that line. Um, so I'm being a little bit kind of generous with my color. as well. I know that these fenders come out like that, so sometimes it's easy to just draw your line like that where it hits, and then where this thing wraps over, draw it down like that. There's a little bit of highlight and detail in there. Same thing on here, you can pull that, pull that like that. I'm gonna go a little higher on this. Follow the, follow the contour of that shape. There we go. Okay. So now we basically pulled that shape in there like that. I've got my details here. Um, here's my mirror. I'm going to basically kind of add some little bit of effects of chrome on there. Tighten this guy up. Put that up like that. Okay, now for my wheels, my wheels are a type of gray, so um, I'm going to get away with doing a, a 109. I'm going to fill it in this way, and then I'm going to basically just kind of go over and rough in where my spokes go so that I can feel um, comfortable placing them in so that when I go to darken them in, um, I know exactly where everything's supposed to be at. So now that I've got them there, now I'm going to take a look at the, what's going on in between those spokes. And that's where this comes in handy right here. I'm looking at the shapes in between there. Same thing over here. You don't have to put in everything. So again, I'm not detailing it in super, super detailed. Um, so what's going to happen in here? I'm, I decided I'm going to go ahead and just uh, take this and I'm just going to detail this in super black. When I put this in real black like this, you're going to see that everything is just going to really start standing out, popping out on this. 
There we go. Not like that. See how that just really pops out? Okay, so uh, there we go. Now we're going to start adding. The second phase of this thing is where I take in my Sharpie markers. As soon as I have my basic design, things where I where I feel pretty comfortable with it, then I'm going to start taking my my uh, Sharpie marker. I'm going to I'm going to pencil this or I'm going to ink this thing in here. highlights in here where this where this is going here again add some things here this is when I start can start adding some details and things like that in this car to kind of make it come alive as well that should be dark in there so do that okay now on these tires again I'm, I, I'm highlighting the area that comes around. I'm putting some tread in here like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and really define what's going on here with this exhaust pipe. Okay. Again, when I'm inking in these rims, I'm not putting in everything. I'm leaving a lot to just, uh, you know, chance. Okay, tucking this thing in. Now I'm going to draw this line of where this thing goes for this uh, top of this fender. It's going to come up like this. And down here, since I'm here, I might as well add in some details of what's going on here with this. Same is true with my roll bar. See, when I start adding in all this stuff, this is really going to make the rest of this car start coming alive. Okay. All right, good. Okay, let me add this into the roll bar. It's behind it like that. So I'm going to put that thing in there like that. Okay. In my circle here. Okay. There we go. Okay. 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 What I'm gonna do here is 14. Basically, putting my shadow line down on this edge like this. So, there we go, like that. I'm going to add a little bit of stuff in here as well. There we go. A little bit of highlight on top of there for my chrome areas. Pulling the highlights of a couple things in there. I did forget to add 
I wanted to darken this up in here. This. There we go. And again, I could come over this with a black pen, add some shadow lines of where this thing wraps in like that as well. Okay, so for the most part, um, almost got this thing done. There's a couple lines I want to touch in here and make sure that I, I'm okay with. There we go. Like that, like that. I want this line here to really be defined, so I'm going to put this, I'm going to ink this in like that. You guys can see that okay. There we go. Like that. Same thing with this. There we go. Sometimes it's just going over and fine tuning certain things. Um, if you look at it, it doesn't look right, darken it up again. Um, always kind of keep, draw what you know, not what you see. Sometimes what you see isn't exactly what you need to put on there, or it's not going to work with your style of design. So I draw what I know. Um, again, this is where my shadows come in down here as well. And again, I could take this line here because it's a background like this. I could darken this up like this. Because I want that definitely to recede. Anything in the back is going to recede. Um, it looks like this line didn't show up too well. My uh, so I'm going to take my 114 and go like this. Put that in there so that that thing really stands out like that. Also going to take a. Um, I always put my cartoon steering wheel when I do a drawing like this. So I'm going to put that in there like that. And then if I wanted to, I could take this and um, I have a tendency to draw a shadow. I always put kind of a shadow to give a little bit of an effect right there on that. Then, um, before I'm finished, as soon as I get it roughly kind of where I feel pretty good about it, let me go ahead and blue this in just to show you guys what I'm going to do here. As soon as I feel okay with that, I'm going to go ahead and darken this thing in like this. Okay, there we go. Darken that in like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take my white um, paint pen. I've got two of them here. I've got a Molotov marker like this, which I'm going to use. Um, so I'm going to get this guy ready. Okay, I've also got a uh, I don't know, it's like a gel pen, but it's white as well. I do this for my fine detailed stuff. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to draw this in. Now this is, uh, let's see here. So on this, on my, on my highlights for where my, um, sparkles go from like sun reflections, I'm just going to put basically just going to put dots on top of certain spots. Those dots are just going to represent, you know, where the light's hitting. Things like that. Kind of real simple. And remember, these dots are going to go well, very well on a dark background um, object. If, if you had it on light, it wouldn't work too well. But for this, it's going to be this will be good. Oops, I forgot my blue line right here. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to start going over and um, inking this thing in with this white pen. Now you'll notice that when I'm going to ink this line, I'm not going to go straight over and touch the blue. I'm going to go a little bit to the right of that blue, and this will make this tire stand out. Okay. And that's a good hint to have that the same is same is true here. Basically, what that's doing is just like this. It's adding a little bit of white here to make that to break that up from the black. So I'm going to do that when I come in this wheel right here. I'm going to take that. Probably use this one instead. 
because it's dark, it's thicker. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around this wheel right here. And this is going to then separate that wheel from that background because it's dark. Then I can take this, same is true, come in here, run it down. There we go. Something like that. Okay. Uh, again, I'm going to add in some tread. Tread's pretty easy because basically it's just a stair step. Um, you know, if you, th if you think about stairs, one side's going to go down, the other side's going to go up. And so that's, that's how I do my tread for this. Horizontal verticals, horizontal verticals. Okay. Now again, I want to trace what's going on in here as well. Because where this hits is pretty crucial. This shows you that there's, there's going to be light on the edge of this wheel. Sometimes I can put in little sparkles, um, you know, little starbursts off those, off those things to kind of define it. So that begins to make those wheels uh, really pop out. I can also take uh, my 114 um, and define, just do quick sketches underneath the edge of where things are at to um, add some things too. Because if I wanted to go in there on a darker surface and add some highlights, those are really going to stand out now. That makes sense. There we go. Add a couple star things in there as well. Okay. Now I'm going to take um, inside of this car, inside the lip here, uh, because you're seeing seeing this, you're going to want to go a little bit thicker on this side to show that there is um, uh, depth in here. I'm not going to show what's going on inside that circ inside that uh, inside that intake, and that's okay because that was that wasn't my point. In the picture, it does show it, but for this cartoon drawing, I think it's going to be too distracting. That's the reason why I'm not putting it in there. Okay, and then again, I can add some details and things like that as well. Any dark areas I want to kind of roughly outline. Along this side, just to kind of show what's what's going on there. There we go. Now this tire rolls like that. Okay. Now this is when I start adding some, my details as well on here. I take a look at where the highlights are in this car, and I can begin to hit those as well. So wherever my line was here, I'm going to add a white line on top. If I wanted to, I could put a dot in the larger section, put a, um, a starburst in there, something like that, pull it down, kind of give an idea like that. Cool. I know that this line is going to roll down like that. Now on the blue cars or on a, on a lighter car like this, you're going to be able to trace really close to your outlines here and really make this thing come alive. Um, because this white is really going to stand out on these darker on these darker vehicles, okay? Like that. That makes sense. Something like that. There we go. There we go. There we go, like that. I'm gonna hit some spots up here. Oh, that's gonna stand out there as well. And then this chrome. Again, um, don't be afraid to add gray to that chrome. Um, especially, you don't have to com completely just hit it, but there's certain spots where it's gonna stand out. And if you've got um, darker stuff behind it, it uh, may work pretty well. There we go. A 
again I'm going to trace a white line where this thing because I want this this uh, um, exhaust pipe to come out from the tire I don't want it to get lost in there and then uh, when I basically got that done I can go over with my 114 where my shadow would be and hit that like this a little bit that's going to kind of add a little bit of uh, depth and show what's going on there Roughly. Then I'll add a little bit of shadow here as well, and a little bit of shadow here from where my uh, and then I'm almost done, guys. And then now I'm going to throw a little bit of uh, color down here just to show where my car is on. Kind of real rough like this. I have a tendency to kind of pull this like this over the top. It's kind of to show motion or movement like that. Like that. Something like that. If I wanted to take another gray, I could do that again. Um, hit the gray. Uh, the gray over the top of that color again is just going to add some more, some more uh, depth and shadow in that. But remember, it goes on heavy, but it'll lighten up. And if I wanted to, I could take my um, my pen, my sharpie marker, I just kind of go in here and kind of draw a couple rocks or kind of trace my lines like this. Add a couple things. You could also take, if you wanted to, you could take your pen in here. I'm going to sign my name to it real quick. So roughly, that's that's pretty much about it right there. Pretty simple, pretty simple to do. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, you can email me at uh, micah at micadoodles.com um, or check out my website. Uh, micadoodles.com and uh, anyway if there's a car that you want to to have me draw um, also text me there or uh, send me um, email there hopefully I can help you out so that's basically I uh, guys I think from that point of view this is probably as far as where I'm gonna take this car today there you go leave it like that leave it real rough now I didn't go completely super detailed in this but at least you get the idea so hopefully that works guys there's your uh, Cobra GT